Star Wars Circle of the Force Part 6. Right. Okay. Now, um, they've settled back into the Death Star, have Luke and Anakin, and uh, they're trying to get Wedge Skywalker, Luke's son, who's revealed in the, the episode 10. He's actually got a son, which is played by uh, ideally in the movie by Jake Lloyd, who's, at, of course, Anakin Skywalker in episode one. So, um, yeah, but he got replaced by Hayden, is it Christensen or something like that, as Anakin in episode two and three. So, um, he wanted to be Anakin in the latter movies, in the, in the sequels, uh, two and three, but it just didn't work out like that. It was too young. But, um, if, if, in my ideal dreams, I'd get Jake Lloyd back to play Luke's son. I just really couldn't name him Anakin again. It was like, I'll call him Anakin again. It was just too ironic, that, that idea. So he's Wedge, named after Wedge Antilles from Star Wars. Luke's buddy Wedge Antilles. Now, they're trying to get Wedge involved, but Wedge, Wedge is the side of it, you know, he is a Jedi, you know, and um, he is a Jedi. And while he is interested in the passion of the dark side, he's a Jedi. And um, they, they have an uneasy sort of, uh, uh, not uh, alliance, they have an uneasy sort of semi-truce for Jedi and the Sith at this stage. They iron each other off because Luke and Anakin have been on the good side of the Force and they don't have that, that much of a grudge necessarily against the Jedi at times. They're not really that hostile at times to them. But Anakin, um, he does actually like the power of the dark side a fair bit. Darth Vader, he likes the power of the dark side, what Emperor instructed him on. And he wants to do what the dark side does. So he's keen on Luke getting Wedge involved as much as he can. One of the things that they set off and do is they travel to New Alderaan. When Alderaan was blown up in episode 4, technically, the first produced Star Wars movie, which was retitled A New Hope, um, the boulders and mud and brick and buildings and all the infrastructure of Alderaan, everything was made up, including dead people and their bones and so forth, that was all blown up, but it didn't really travel that far into space. It's just sort of sitting there as an asteroid sort of belt somewhat. What's happened is that Leah Organa, uh, later, later on, when she has her freedom again, she's had um, Alderanian citizens from around the galaxy, from other worlds, especially Coruscant. She's gathered them together and led Alderaan society to rebuild Alderaan, to push all the stuff back together again and resettle the planet. It was expensive work and challenging work, but they rebuilt Alderaan and called it New Alderaan. So they got that job done, and gradually Alderaan is being formed again, and it's got Alderaanian citizens. So it is going again. It is there again. And... Anakin's decided to take the Death Star, the new Death Star, which is really quite a big one, uh, the size of a planet practically, off to um, Alderaan to torment them. At this stage, they're not going to try and blow it up again. But they're going to torment them. And they send down propaganda, stormtroopers with propaganda, sort of mocking Alderaanian society, and they're going to enslave these fellas under the control of the Empire. But uh, the Jedi respond and play a propaganda game of their own. And uh, it's a battle of wits. While it's gradually coming about, and Coruscant is re-established as well by, by this stage, and they've, they've rebuilt a lot of it, and what's gradually coming about is that the Sith 
are trying to find legitimacy. And there's other Sith people, Sith Lords, becoming involved by this stage. They're trying to find legitimacy in the galaxy. They've established on Coruscant the Senate. And there are presence in the Senate. They've re-established the Senate. And the Jedi are, are in the temple. And they're, their people are hanging around in the Senate as well. And what's starting to form is a right-wing Sith and a left-wing Jedi.